Manuel, tell us uh, when you want to buy a flamenco guitar or a Spanish classical guitar, mm -hmm. what are the things that someone should look out for? Okay, yeah. well, flamenco guitar has to be very light, it has to be cypress back and sides, and it has to be spruce top. Spruce top has a very uh, aggressive uh, action on the sound. Bass is very aggressive and also the trebles. Okay. So spruce tops has to be very, very narrow grain. That means the more narrow, the more pure sound. That means that tree has been growing very slow. These trees have been up in the high mountains in Mittenwald in Germany. This is German spruce. So it's a very cold area, so the growth is very slow. When it's very wide grain, the trees are more in the lower near the river. So that's a wider grain. That's more for low-priced guitars. Ah. That's one of the main issues. So that's how you tell when you look at it. Exactly. When you select the woods for a guitar, a classical cedar or spruce, the most important is the grain, okay. how the tree has been grown. Because this is a two-piece when we glue it together. Right. Right? Flamenco gets has to be very light because they're always standing up when they play flamenco. Mm -hmm. Another issue, more narrow sides mm -hmm. huh? and also very flat necks and very low action. Mm -hmm. That's the, the pure flamenco music. Classical guitars is very different. Do you mind holding that? Take this classical for example. This classical guitar for example, more wider uh, sides, a little bit more heavier. A little bit more thicker, thicker neck. Okay. Uh, higher action. Um, also, same issue with the grain. You can see very, very narrow cedar grain. So you can see the years of the tree. More, uh, the wider ones has been more wet years, and the thinner ones has been more dry years. So you can see the climate of that tree growth in that forest. So that's yeah. how you describe. And when we get the guitar before we build it, with our ears, we touch the top, so we know how that guitar is going to sound. So it's like a human being. Each guitar sounds differently, and none of them sound the same. It's a very personal touch. Okay, man. Thank you.